Okay, so now we're gonna simplify a complex fraction. And we know to simplify these, we, we've got to multiply the numerator and denominator by the LCD. Well, in this case, there's only one denominator, so that is the LCD. So we multiply by x plus one over x plus one. Why do we do this? Well, first of all, this is equivalent to multiplying by one, and any expression times one is equivalent to that expression. But it just helps us get rid of the fractions in the numerator and denominator. So when we distribute eight over x plus one times x plus one is eight, plus two times x plus one. And the denominator, when we distribute, the x plus ones here cancel, we're left with minus four, minus one times x plus one, or one times x plus one is x plus one. Let's simplify this a little further. So we have eight plus two x plus two, and the bottom we have minus four, minus x minus one. Let's simplify this a little further. So here we have two x plus 10, and in the denominator we have minus x minus five. Now we can simplify further. When I factor out a two, I'm left with x plus five. When I factor out a negative, let me write a negative one. When I factor out negative one, I'm left with x plus five from there. Now the x plus fives cancel and we get two over negative one, which is negative two. So we want to explain what does this mean? This means it doesn't matter what value of x I pick. Let's look at our original expression, which is this. It doesn't matter what value of x I pick. It's always going to equal negative 2. Of course, we don't want to let x equal negative 1 because it's not in the domain. But let's let x equal 3 just to show. We're going to get negative 2. When x is 3, what do we get? 8 over 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4, so we get negative 4 over 4. 2 plus 2 gives us 4. Negative 1 and negative 1 is minus 2. And sure enough, we get minus 2. So the point here is, is this is just a simplified. It's simpler. It's easier to work with when we have this. So that's the purpose here. When we have this complicated or this complex fraction, we want to simplify it to make our lives easier. All right? So in this case, if this is something we had, there's no, it's always equal to negative two. And it's nice to illustrate that by picking different values of X and showing that that's what always happens.